It's going to be slightly smaller, I suspect, but it's going to be made up of brilliant, creative people who have specialist knowledge, who don't necessarily come from traditional journalist roots. They may be specialists from outside, civil service, NGOs. I think second, they're going to be people who understand one, that although they're journalists, and by the way, John, I'm not invading anybody's patch, but journalists do need to have a sense of what the business is about. They need to understand uh, how we make money, what is sustainable, and so they will also have the ability, I think, uh, to have software skills, and they're going to have, lastly, an ability to do deep and original reporting. That is what is necessary for newspapers and news organizations to survive. You have to have something which is distinctive, different from the rest of the pack. You could be in Boston, and you could be, if you're reporting in a local newspaper, you'd be writing about the medical sector. You wouldn't just be writing about corruption. I, I could go on, but the crucial point here is to be distinctive and have the ability to reconnect with the reader, because in the old days, you didn't know who the readers were. They'd just go to the shop and buy the newspaper. So reconnect, be specialist, and have lots of different skills. John, I just want to reassure the audience, uh, the robots are not going to take over. Uh, but your journalists may, your journalists may you, have to work more with robots, as uh, ours do. We're, we're happy to work with anybody. Uh, I mean, the, the more, of course, the, what we call technically the ho-hum story, the story that's just middling, you know, a market news report, stock market news report that just says what went up, what went down. I mean, a robot could do that, but we're constantly putting the effort, the emphasis on high value-added journalism. What are you getting extra to justify, frankly, charging? And just to this point about robots, you know that for me the most important thing is about the voice, the voices of the FT. Uh, and that means commentators. Not, you can have great reporters as well, but commentators. And these, uh, I was explaining my job to a, an Australian the other day and explaining about dealing with commentators. And he said, I, I think I now know what you do. You're essentially a football manager. And what he meant by that is, look, these people are stars. They're really, really valuable. They're, they're what make the paper and the website really special. And John, no, a robot is not going to replace Martin Wolf.